it's Sarah, and Ruthie's over there. Courtney's not here, but Ruthie's not going to be in most of the video, but... So, hey guys, I'm going to be doing, if you cannot tell by the time, I'm going to be doing a Halloween review, sort of. I'm going to teach you how to make my Halloween costume. It's going to look so cool, and just please enjoy the video, and yeah, have fun watching. See so you when we learn how to make the bow stuff, I think. Bye! I protect people who do not protect themselves. I am the justice of the city. I am compound justice. Hey guys, okay, so one of the things that you will need for your costume, it depends on what you want to do, okay? You will need PVC pipe. Um, looks a little bit like this. I think it's a 3 4 inch PVC pipe, but I'm not 100%. I just got it with some old ones. Okay, so the first thing, where is it, that you are going to do, ah, here it is. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a little mark with a like knife i don't know if you can see it hold on a knife or something i'm using a saw blade but you can do a knife or something to the size you want it to be so and you can even make a small weapon after that if you want to later but anyway but mine is about is going to be a little bit taller than me maybe about a foot and so to get it started, you like cut a little bit. You cut it like this. Saw off that mark until you saw off the entire piece. Then you can like fix it and stuff. All right, and see you guys after I am done sawing it off. Okay, so once you're done doing all the stuff and making sure it's all set off, you should have a piece like that. And a piece very long. I don't think I can show you how long it is, but that's how you should have it. And I will see you when I make this into an actual bow staff. Bye. Sorry about that. Okay. So for this next segment, you're going to need your PVC pipe that I showed you, you know, not my garage, the ceiling's tall, but it, you should not, you need to be able to stand it up like this on the ground and it not hit a ceiling because It'd be bad, all right, because it would not move with your costume. I'm gonna take duct tape. I have gorilla tape, but you can take duct tape, and you're gonna basically just wrap it around the piece. So you pipe, yeah. Hold on. It's kind of like a little stock hair. Okay, here it goes. Okay. So you take it. Just find a starting point. I don't know where. I probably would have been smarter to start at the beginning, but you know, kind of look on cruncher going to a party thing today. So yeah, okay, so basically, just gonna take it and just wrap it up all the way down. And I know this might seem a little wasteful, but it's gonna make your costume look so much cooler. Um, so yeah. I'm going to wrap this around, and I'll see you for the next part of this. Bye. All right, so I just finished wrapping. You should have a little bit of the end on both sides. And the rest should be all black. All right, so let's do the ends. All right, for the end, you're going to, of course, take your duct tape. Stretch it out. Run around the end to finish it off. Just the tiniest little bit. Okay. So like that. And now, if you can see it, okay. Now we're gonna just slightly pull it up. And press down. Up. Press down. down 
and then now it should be to where it's barely even on it. Okay, that's when you're just gonna tear. Or teeth, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna use my teeth. Ah. <coughs> All right. And it should have no hole. My thing is getting stuck on the things in here. No hole. And if you have any questions about this part, leave them in the comments. No, no. I'm going to do the other side. So it's a little tricky because it kind of sort of messed up a little bit when I was doing this. So, but we'll see if we can make it work. Okay? So, like I said, you're going to wrap it around once. Barely leaving any room on the thing. Okay? Just one. And then once you get to the end of wrapping that around, it's gonna go up a little. You're gonna, oops, lose it a little bit, but that's okay. Up a little, up a little, and then you're gonna tuck it in to the hole. Up a little, tuck it in. So now I can barely get into that hole. This next one will be done. I'm just gonna tuck it in, okay? Then, pair, all right? Now, don't discard this duct tape because we're still gonna need it, okay? So, I'm about to, oh, hold on, my duct tape stuck. Hold on, I'm just gonna go. Ah! <sighs> Oops. Just rip my lips off. Alright, this should be your finished project. You should see no white. It might feel a little weird when you spin it around and stuff, but just practice with it a little bit. You know, because it's like a bound of duct tape on it, okay? And uh, yeah, see you for the next segment. Oh, oh. okay. See you. For the next show. Alright, so here's our next item. We got rope, you need something like this. Or you can just buy your own strap once I get to that part. But I just used it for my for my old Eno hammock. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it to the right length that I need. And I'll be back to y'all. Okay, so I just I cut one of my pieces and I am about to cut this one, so I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. So you go and you put it around your shoulder and your waist like that and then you measure it up and you get a little slack because of your clothes that you're going to be putting on and you find your spot my spot is right here and then you just cut it and there you go okay so next duct tape segment so this is going to be for your gadget tree to make it look like you have like weapons and stuff so we got just little household objects, like I got this from, you know what these are. Okay, I got some bolts, got an eraser, um, I got some mini washers, yeah. Okay, so for this, of course you're going to take the duct tape, because I told you this is duct tape. You're going to take your, let's do this one first, you're going to take your item. And you basically just wrap it up. Okay, but you got to make sure you tuck, just like on the um, bow staff that we made. Just got to make sure you tuck it in. Okay. Like here, I'm almost unwrapping. Wrap, tuck, tuck. All right. And of course, trusty Terry. Okay, then you're gonna finish it off and tuck it in. This should be your finished product for the first one. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna show you what to do with this, okay? Who are you talking to? With my camera. Um, okay, so you're gonna put the bolt in there, like this, stick it to it. And you're gonna, okay, this is my first time doing this, so. Okay, so I just wrap the end to it, because it's a little bolt, and it looks like a Mickey Mouse ears. So, mm -hmm. Now, the important thing in this is that 
is that you don't over wrap because that you can and it'd be horrible. Oh, see, I just did. So what I mean by overlapping is, see, look, I just accidentally like tied these. So I'm just gonna. <sighs> okay. All right. Oh, just did it again. That's my go over there. All right. Now we're gonna rip. project you can add a little extra you can leave it like this when you when we do the next one or you can fold it doesn't matter okay and the eraser the same thing for this one just and you don't have to use the same product you can use different ones but it just has to be little and a little structured so that you can they you can make them look like gadget tree all right and I'll show you guys when I'm finished. All right, I have finished all of them. I have this one, which is the bolt. This one is the bolt. I have not decided what I'm gonna do with this one yet. This one is actually the one washer right here. It's the other washer. This is the eraser. And then here's two bolts. And then this is the thing that goes up and down, up and down, so. Now, we're going to be doing something a little more difficult. Okay. Actually, um, yeah, okay. So, I don't know if I've taught you this yet or whatever, but I basically have taken rope, like from an old Eno or something, and cut it the length of my chest. Now, I'm gonna teach you that in a minute, or I already have, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so, first we're gonna make this, okay. So we're going to, I'm not standing up, just letting y'all know I am actually on my knees. A little squatting now. Okay, so you wrap it around and stuff. I'm gonna carry you with me actually. Okay. Let's see, let's find you a place to sit. Well, sorry about that camera. Oh, no, that's bad. Sorry about this. Okay. That's my bed. Okay. So you take it, and let's see, let's do this way. Okay. So as you can see, I am. One of the ends is on this side. The other one is on this side. Now remember, you'll be wearing more clothes than this. So you need to make a little slack, like maybe a hand slack. All right, and then you're gonna duct tape it. So, oops, sorry. Whoa. All right. Oh, I can't have you on the duct tape. That's not smart. You're back. Okay. So I have my right here. I'm gonna take it off. So I'm going to flip it. Then I'm going to. Oh, this is difficult. And there's some, there's a couple pieces of sausage and a biscuit left. I think. All right. And then. Sarah. Sarah. Eat breakfast. Okay. One second. All right. And then we're gonna take the duct tape. Tape it together. That's what you're wearing. Make sure they're completely aligned, otherwise it'll look messy. Go upstairs and get one of my kings of line ones. They're in the fourth drawer. Alright. So wait, you're wearing these sweatpants or bringing them? So I wrapped it around. I'm just I'm gonna wear some probably. But 
Okay. Son, there's no underwear. underwear. There's no socks. Okay. Yep, we'll and get some of my to, socks. You can like do stuff to it and stuff. Uh, okay, see so you for the next part. Right, so I finished making those things. I, as you can see, I put them around me in like an X. Then I duct taped them. Now they won't, probably won't stay as much, but it just makes it a little sturdier. Then, as you can see, I started taping the gadgets to it, pushing down really hard so that they won't fall off. Yeah. So, see you when I'm done. So, I just got dressed into my black clothes, black shirt, black pants. Now, time to put All on right, my jacket. I got my jacket on. Now, time for the mask. All right, my mask is on. Now, I'm going to set up and see you guys when I'm done. I protect people who do not protect themselves. I am the justice of the city. I am compound justice. First, like, definitely like. This was a lot of hard work. It took me about an hour just to put this stuff, all this stuff together. Um, this bow staff took me about 30 minutes. And uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that bell icon so that we know, so that you know when we post all new videos. And um, comment below, because I really need this, guys. I really do. Comment below whether you want me to use this bow staff for my costume for Halloween or this katana. Now, I cannot use both because I also have a bow. But comment below what you want me to do. And Courtney should be posting her Halloween review on Monday. And see you next time. Ruthie, you want to do peace out? Yeah. Ready? Peace out. I don't think she did it right. Bye.